All right, everyone.、Uh, good afternoon. This is Creation Talking, and、uh, for another edition of Pass or Fail,、uh, it's currently 4:19 in the afternoon Eastern Canadian Time, and I'll be playing the game Story of Innocence by Ultima 187, if I remember the、uh, numbers correctly.、Uh, first thing I like about the、uh, about the game is the MIDI music.、Uh, I'm sure most people prefer MP3. For me, it reminds me of the days of the golden days of the Sierra adventure games like、uh, King Quest or Quest for Glory. And I don't know. For me, it's a、uh, really good memories. And、uh, I don't know. It has a certain charm to it. This kind of music. So yeah, let's get started.、Uh, begin the story. Game Makers presents Story of Innocence. Interesting. Looks good. Okay, the guy over there. Surprised about something. Oh, hello. You startled me. I'm assuming you came to hear the story. No need to respond. I know I'm right. Well, this story is unlike any ever told in the history of this planet. Some believe it is true. Most believe it is just a legend. I, however, know the truth. Now I could just tell you, but I figure it would be best to let you decide for yourself. Now, how would you? How should we begin our story?、Oops. There's only one option right now. I don't know if the in the、uh, the full game. I guess I'm assuming, perhaps mistakenly, that、uh, you'll have、uh, different chapters to choose from. But that's a good, it's a good decision. Always nice to have some choices, just like in、uh, choosing your stage in Mega Man, you know, RPG style. Okay, let us begin with a young girl named Liana. <laughs> Aliana was a special girl. The world didn't see her as such, but she was truly one of a kind. As an infant, she was abandoned, left for dead.、Uh, I just want to pause for a minute.、Um, I've I've never seen this in an RPG game before. The the way the story is told right now, I, I find it very interesting.、Uh, having this omnipotent character who、uh, who tells you、uh, about the characters of the game, and having those you know. The icons, the the the, the character sprites changing in the background, you know, just like the, the baby right now.、Uh, left for dead, she should have died before then. But the wise and all-knowing God Semlis had other plans for her. He brought her to the doorstep of a loving couple that, for biological reasons, could not convince on their own. They took Liana in and loved her as if she was their very own. They never questioned why Liana was given to them. They just raised her to the best of their ability. Now back. Liana, she loved interacting with people, and this love led to her wanting to become an actress. Well, that and a man named Fabian, he lured Liana into his acting company and took advantage of her. She loved him, and at, at, at least she thought she did. And despite her better judgment, she stood by him. A costly mistake, and gave her away to shipping magnate Galahad, who in turn sold her to a slave trader in far off land of Sandoria. So I hope I'm gonna get in control soon because it's、um, something be a little bit long. I could feature them in your story in this fashion, but I fear in doing so you would become bored. <laughs> that's funny you say that because that's the way I felt. So I want you to read the story yourself. Do not worry, for there will be plenty of visual aids to keep your interest. Hopefully, and if I may make a suggestion, start where Liana and a friend of hers on its unsuccessfully attempt to escape their captors. Okay, please pleasant reading. Cool, I like it. Liana's beginning. The Desert of Sandoria, 1374 TE. It's not that.、Uh, 
really think we would allow you to escape, why do you kill her not? Simple, she's worth the three points. We plan to make a big fortune out of you. So I hope we'll be in control of the character soon, because uh, it's starting to be too long, the introduction, really. It's been, uh, it's been five minutes already of introduction, out of, out of the ten minutes I've been playing, so I have your attention. Today's your lucky day. I have for you a rare beauty from the country across the ocean, Maridan. It's not every day one of these are available for sale, and I, so I suggest you add her to your collection as soon as possible. May I suggest we start the bidding at 20,000, whatever currency you have in the game. One Iron Man, 50,000, 10 lips of 10 pounds of armor, right? Okay, what is the meaning of this? I cannot beat him, you know what? So he's scared, but he also offers 10 pounds of armor, right? Which is a price that's min uh, minimal, so he wins. Those are the rules. You're aware that I'm your most frequent buyer. Yes, I know, but this is business, so don't take it personal. I'm sure by next month we'll have another one just like her. I don't want another one. Uh, please don't send in trouble. It's too long. The introduction, I think, is too long. Um, you know when you have those long dialogue sequences, there's, there's always a way that you can have those sequences while having the player interact, in my opinion. That's what I think. For example, in the desert scene, I mean, I think it should have been possible to actually control the character and then beat the guard and then, you know, but at least be in control because right now you're just a passive observer and it's kind of boring. I can believe this. Um, okay. Will the winner please go for you? Na -na -na. He has the Buster Sword. You know what to do. Do I? Don't be done with me, I'm not in the mood. Either bring her to me or I'll lag your head. Do you understand? Yeesh, don't burst the vein. Isn't vein like... I don't think vein is spelled V-A-I-N, pretty sure. You know I'm going to do my job. Uh, thank you, that's all I ask. Is this the last favor? We'll talk later. Okay. It's too bad because the mapping is actually pretty excellent, honestly. I like the... Uh, I like how it looks. I really think the mapping is good, honestly. There's a nice mood to it. And don't be afraid, slavery, I promise I won't bite. Oh, I thought I was going to be in control, finally, but I'm not. Do what you will with me, just be gentle. Right. Uh, what in the hell are you talking about? Don't you, you know, wanna... Uh, I, I think it's kind of a, a little bit awkward approach to, you know, prostitution. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit cliche, you know, just be gentle. Uh, I don't know, I don't know if, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh... With me, wait, you thought, ha, huh, don't flatter yourself. I'm, oh, I'm one, I'm a merry man, and two, that's not why I bought you. It's not? No, I mean, you're very beautiful, but like I said, I'm married, and besides, I won't pay that much to live with a woman. Well, if that's not the person, the reason, why did you buy me? To sell me off to someone else? Nah, nah, nah. When I, if you must know, okay, I'm about pretty bored now, if you must know, I bought your freedom. My freedom, but why would you do that? You don't even know me, it's like this, I only had enough. Honestly, the intro is way too long, way too long. It should that we should have been in control of, the, of at least one character, at least a good five minutes ago. I don't have to free one of you, you're just going to be lucky. It's, it's uh, you know, this is what I was talking about in the game I tried last time. Um, about story pacing, uh, Legacy of the Guilds. You know, it had a pretty good pacing. Story, action, story, action. But this one is just like I, I was talking about, a huge chunk of dialogue right at the beginning of the game. Um, I wish we believed you. Like, nah, nah, nah. I mean, why do you pay so much money just to be free? It's absurd. What? Nah, 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 nah. Come on, guys. Why don't read books when you play games? No, wait. Okay, I'm just going to skip this because now I'm getting too bored. Uh -huh. And I, I don't think the dialogue is, is well written enough that I really want to read because... It's got some kind of like cliche, melodramatic conversations at times, I think. And the characters are a little bit stereotypical, I think. You know, the one-eyed, gruff soldier and the, you know, vulnerable little girl. Okay. Finally! Finally! After close to 10 minutes, of introduction, I'm in control. Woohoo! Yeah, 
Yeah, better be late than never, I guess. So, uh, yeah, I'll be playing this one a bit more longer than 12, 10 minutes, otherwise we just won't know what the game is about. So I'll just follow the guy. And uh, who's that dude? They say five, uh, five slaves attempted to escape two days ago, but one was killed. pretty good. Uh, I've been complaining a lot about the story pacing, but uh, the mapping itself is, is nice. It's one of the best. I mean, maybe not one of the best, but well, it's pretty good, really. Like, I don't have anything to complain about it. It's, it's well done. Is he there? Is he there? And the location is interesting, kind of like the sand city. It's cool. Uh, I skipped the dialogue, so I probably shouldn't have, but I was getting too tired of reading. And there, and there's no quest journal, so I don't really know what I have to do. Quest journals are always nice, you know, to keep people informed as to what the objective is. Okay, I don't want to talk to someone who looks poor. Jerk. <laughs> I have no pockets to put anything in. Come on! That's cheap excuse. Oh. Just carry it in your hands, come on. Oh shit, I'm stuck. Okay, no, no, no. I have no pockets to put anything in, that's fine. Right, so, keep on exploring the city. As you can see, I mean, the mapping is really nice, honestly. That's by far the strongest point in this game so far. And I probably won't have time to see the combat system, unfortunately. Which is quite unfortunate, because I would have liked to see it. But, uh, so much time. So here, those garments. Mm, yeah, the the, the, dial the dialogues are a little bit juvenile. I don't know if I can say that, but it feels that way. You know, it's it. Yeah. So, all right, maybe that way. You run for the safe country forward. Okay. So it's not that way either. Where's that guy? The hero guy. Can I check the menu? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, so uh, I think I'm gonna stop because I can't find the one I bended. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna give this one a fail and I'll tell you why. Uh, it's, it doesn't seem to be a bad game, not by a long shot. The mapping is good, the locations are interesting, and, and the story, uh, well, no, the story is not that great, but yeah, I, I think the, the writing can do some work, it, it, it's not very convincing, and it's kind of like cliche or stereotypical, and I, I'm not just, I just don't feel interested in reading it, I feel like it's a chore to, to have to, to, to blow through all that, those dialogue lines. And the intro, before you get control of your character, is way, way way too long, way too long. I mean, 10 minutes of reading before playing? Nah, forget that. Honestly, not for me anyway. Maybe other people like that, but I don't. I certainly don't. Um, so my, my advice, I mean, if I can offer some unwanted advice, would be to provide, I mean, if you really, really like, if you really need to have those, those cutscenes, at least find a way to make them interactive for the player. I mean, the desert scene, that could have been, you could have been in control. There's no reason why it was just a cutscene where you had to, to watch too. And it's really too bad because the beginning of the, of the game was really promising. Like that guy telling a story. And what, but the thing is, when he finished talking, when he said, I don't want to bore you, then I think at, exactly at that time, we should have been in control right away. Because he just said, you know, you're tired of reading, now we're in control. But then actually what followed was just more and more reading. And, and 
that's just too much for me. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna give this one a fail. Um, I would definitely try this game, this game again, if the introduction was like cut at least by half, and or at least if you had some sort of control. But uh, and yeah, I think the dialogue should be uh, worked on, and maybe the characters should be uh, developed so that they don't seem they're not so stereotypical. I mean. They're the girl doesn't seem to be so bad, but the guy, like the one-eyed, kind of like self-confident, gruffy warrior, you know, just like, you know, Guts in Berserk, you know, the anime, it's been done so many times before, uh, come on, just, just, I think it's just important to be imaginative every once in a while and just, you know, get off the beaten path and try to create characters which are more believable or just different than they did anime, you know, stereotypes, so, uh, so yeah, that's all for this, uh, this one, give it 